If my Republican colleagues refuse to consider witnesses and documents in this trial, the president's acquittal will be meaningless. Well, he will not be acquitted. You cannot be acquitted if you don't have a trial. And you don't have a trial if you don't have witnesses. So we're going to have a trial with no witnesses. And I think uh, Speaker Pelosi is right. Then this can't be a real acquittal. They cannot walk out of this building and allege and assert that there has been a true acquittal. There will be no true acquittal if there is not a fair trial. In fact, this trial is no vindication because it was really no trial, no witnesses. But if we acquit this president in a sham trial with no witness, it set witnesses, it sets a precedent. You can abuse your office and Congress will simply look the other way. It will be illegitimate. It will have been a rush yeah. to judgment. In fact, it's a rush to a cover up. There will be a permanent asterisk next to the acquittal of President Trump, written in permanent ink. And Russia, if you're listening, 2020 is open for investigations. He will be more likely to try to steal the 2020 election. The elections may not have a fair result. The very charge goes to the fairness of our elections. People around the world are watching us going, this is what you want for the rest of the world? I mean, what a sad, sad moment after you know, 300 plus years of democracy. I think it's a sad day for the so-called Republican Party. You know, they're gonna to need to find their souls. Good luck to that. He's saying essentially, let's just say this was a court case. Yeah, yeah, he beat his wife. So? This is going to be an enormous stain on the United States Senate. And I fear very much that the president will see himself as uh, one who can emulate right. that, kind that kind of, of monarchical idea. power. It's, it's actually quite scary. I think we're at a very scary moment. I think you just spoke for metric tons of oh, our viewers watching tonight.